the first time I've used this new GoPro app. Uh, oh, are we on now? I think so. Okay. We're going to find out very soon. Uh, <laughs> After so, 30 minutes and not having anything on camera. Yes, but we can record it again because we got plenty of cigars to smoke. Mm -hmm. So, welcome once again to We Smoke It dot dot dot. dot, dot. And tonight, well, we got a pretty special episode this evening. I dressed up for it. I see this. I don't normally dress up. I dressed up for it as well. I like the socks. Okay. I wore my, I'm not wearing socks. He wears the you. same socks every week. Shut <laughs> <laughs> Those do look I realize, Dwight, I realize when I left the house, I had the same socks on and the same shirt as I did in the last two weeks. Oh my gosh. Apparently Tuesdays are my purple shirt. Donovan, for yeah. all of those of you out there in TV land, is not doing too well as a banker. <laughs> he only has one pair of socks and one shirt. Uh, one shirt. One shirt. And uh, well, we still have zero sponsors. Zero sponsors. So, so, so he so at least has more than one tie. You can send your money. He does. He does. Facebook. He may end up spending them pennies out of them loafers. But <laughs> tonight, <laughs> tonight we I'm got sure our end of the year holiday celebration tribute to cigar aficionado. That's right. Cigar of the year episode right. for we smoke it. Dot right. dot dot. And uh, we brought in a couple special guests tonight. First one, just to my left, to your right, we've actually got <laughs> Dwight Stapleton, good friend of ours. We've known each other for years. Uh, Dwight is actually, yes, yes, yes. Dwight is actually an old Tennessee tobacco farmer. Right. So he knows a little bit about the trade. Mm -hmm. And Dwight, tell us a little bit about yourself. Well. Besides what but, I just told you. Before anybody, before anybody wants to know, this thing in my right ear is it's actually the hotline. Ooh. It's the hotline to different places in the world, such as Crown Heads. Oh. My father. Oh. Okay. Oh. Tatawahe. Anytime these guys need any issues resolved about tobacco, the hotline goes off. I thought it was just for our fans. No, it's not. It's, it's you know. We don't give that number up. No, we do not. <laughs> that is probably we a wise decision. That is probably a good decision. Fans. Fan, uh, no. Fan, uh, yeah, one fan. Yes, yeah, probably. singular. Even guests of the program have stopped watching. Oh, well. <laughs> so, next to Dwight, we've got another great friend of the program. We've got Mark Finney. Now, Mark Finney, uh, for those of you that don't know, Mark Finney is a trained killer. He shoots people. Uh, he actually works for SNASA. If you he's, haven't heard of SNASA, he's doing a good job. Exactly. He's an undercover agent who never, ever, ever puts his face out there on camera. Uh, has never been sighted really anywhere. It's like Sasquatch. Yes. So we wrestled Mark Finney to the ground and uh, brought him in tonight to, much, to smoke cigars with us. <laughs> All right. Hey. Mark, tell us a little bit about yourself. I think you just did. He I told a lie. It was a lot of, you know, fluff. That's what I'm here to do. Build you up. He actually right. works for Minchie's Frozen Yogurt. <laughs> 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 Woo! Better than that. Wow. I'm just to smoke cigars and drink scotch. Hey, Amen. Uh, okay. Hey, you picked a great place. Yes, I did. Uh, we have really zero cigar sponsors, but we've been contacted by quite a few low-grade bourbons that really, really want <laughs> yes, to be. Yes, we have. Uh, yeah, they, My car's running on several of those right now. That's so. good. That's good. That's good. <laughs> it doesn't that's, run well, but... That's marvelous. It's running. So, tonight, Donovan, yes. what is it that we're doing tonight? Smoking cigars. Well, well good start. Uh, that's a good... Yeah. You're welcome. You know, we, we smoke it. We've gotten well on that. Okay. Ooh. We're doing our uh, special cigar of the year episode. So... Um, we've smoked so many, so many good cigars on all six episodes. Yes, seven episodes yes, seven, had. seven. And um, so we really just, it was a hard decision, but we've all come to our conclusions on our personal cigars of the year. Um, so we're all smoking them this evening. We're going to reveal those. I know you've been waiting a bit of breath um, on those reveals. We're going to reveal that. And uh, Now the fun thing is, since it's our show, yes. and we can do whatever we want, yes. Everyone has different criteria. Yes, they do. So uh, we'll go through our criteria for our cigar of the year, and then we'll list the cigar of the year. And so we will, without further ado, begin with the first 
Cigar of the Year nomination. Did you bring the trophies? Yeah. Everybody got a Got them. Okay. Got them. All right. And it, it looks a lot like that. I've seen that so oh, Yes. We send these oh. out for people. Oh, uh, multi-task. It holds the cigar so you can smoke it without touching it if your hands are dirty. Mm -hmm. uh, that way you do not get that sanitizer cream on there that gives it such a disgusting taste and flavor. Or the hand uh, A lot oh. like the evil snowman. But watch we, it. Okay. So so Dwight, what is your choice and why for cigar of the year? It was a tough decision. Having smoked many different brands and flavors and whatever this year at like cigar. Baskin Robbins. Like Baskin Robbins. Or exactly. Or, or Manchies. Thank you. There we go. Shout out. Gotta put that in. That's right. Appreciate it. I settled on this one cigar. That's good because you can't have two. <laughs> Are you sure? <laughs> Number one. Why not? <laughs> what if have a one and one A. Now, now that is a criteria for okay, cigars. So we can one. <laughs> we can only be one. Well, so only okay. cigars of the year. <laughs> I think, yeah, that's not right. But anyway, uh, uh, going forward, this cigar from start to finish. Yes. Has cocoa. different <laughs> taste. Cocoa. <laughs> cocoa. Oh, we, will everybody stop the cocoa and herb and leather and sh just stuff like that? A little spice. Uh, yeah, just just stop and say, hey, the cigar's good from the very beginning to the very end. It tastes okay. Like flipping tobacco. Uh, well, it, that's what it's supposed to taste like. I <laughs> uh, mean, we got a winner. <laughs> ah, ah. It's made up. But, my nominee. Your nominee. Cigar of the Year. Mm -hmm. None other than. Crowd Heads. Crowd Heads. Tennessee Wall. Tennessee Wall. Tennessee Wall. Yeah. <laughs> One vote for John Huber. He will actually be wait very, very impressed. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. He just called and said, job well done. Job well done. <laughs> okay, onward. <laughs> that's, that's actually good because he owes us a favor and he better get his butt on the show since we just gave him a shout out and cigar. Yeah, so, yeah. All right, here so we go. Next in line, we actually have Mark Finney. I think we've already discussed that. Tell okay. us your cigar of the year and why. All right. Went with mine for... Um, Variety of reasons, price point. Yes. Yeah. Because Lord only knows the economy sucks. <laughs> yes. yes. What? Thank I, you. I think we all know why. The, 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 yeah, Lord? Look, at, look to your left. <laughs> well, I mean, damn, Baker only has one pair of socks. Yeah, no, so. It's a hard uh, um, oh, 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 my socks. Because we could have got, uh, you know, there's a lot of very limited cigars, but <laughs> everybody can't get it. Like, yeah. Yeah. So, and of course, you know, enjoyability. So right. I went with the venerable. Pete Johnson's tattoo. Oh, yeah. very nice. Price at five dollars a stick. Can't you want to talk about one of the best bargains in all of the humidor? You're actually looking at it. And Mark selected this Extremely tasty. Here. Pete says it's three boxes on his way to you. It's very nice. Very <laughs> nice. <laughs> no, wait a Hopefully a bottle of wine or two would be nice. Also. <laughs> so far, I'm we have zero sponsors. His, the tattoo wash wine is freaking amazing. We have zero sponsors. Yes. Dwight gets a phone call from John Huber. Yes. Finney's getting a box of cigars from Pete Johnson. Yes. And then there's us. Well, that leaves you all out, don't it? So, <laughs> I hope you chose wisely. I'm a short banker. <laughs> what did you go with this year, my friend? Cuba Cuba. Oh! Lovely, lovely choice. Lovely choice. I can't breathe. Uh, great selection on the Cuba Cuba. Thank you. Uh, now, it, than I correct me if I'm wrong, it did not release in 2014. Well, no, my criteria was a little different. A little different. Yeah. I mean, why was that? Apparently. It was on uh, if the box that I smoked the cigar out of was in 2014. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Not really okay. Cool. So, so Cuba Cuba not really my cigar out of here. All this shit. Uh, Thank you. Uh, I am, however, angry with the point. You're angry oh. with the Yes. Oh. I wanted to wait till we were on national internet to tell you this. National internet. <laughs> national on, internet. On not so live TV. Not yes. So live TV. Okay. Oh, you stole my cigar. Bullshit. Oh, really? Yes. 
I didn't steal it. We just share similar qualities. Yes. Uh, my criteria was price point. Uh, they didn't want to do anything over ten bucks, and I wanted something that was going to be a regular release in my area, so I could smoke it more than just this year. Right. Yeah. Um, so I went with Tennessee Waltz also. Mmm. Stole my thunder, but that's the one I went with. Great cigar. Who we got? Thank you. Well, mine. Chris, what's yours? As you can imagine. And thank you once again for being very sincere. You're welcome. Uh, is a little different. I oh, wrestled no. back and forth on uh, everything as far as cigars of the year. Did he not tell me just one? I oh, believe gosh. that was a criteria. Okay. That's not your show. So we get to change the rules <laughs> as what. So Chris I has 18 cigars. Continued to wrestle, and cigars. so I decided yeah. to go with my top five okay. cigars of the year. Oh, Seriously. Wait. No, Can we uh, get I actually, I actually went back and forth on two. I, I had, I had two cigars that that I absolutely smoked okay. and loved. Okay, One was my my absolute favorite as far as the the show out in Vegas. It was to me the best cigar that I smoked, and there were so many great ones. But but the one that really stood out was something a lot milder than than what we've been reviewing and what we've been going through as far as picks and choices. And that was the La Colmena. From, from Warped Cigar, and uh, the thing was just absolutely incredible. Kyle did a magnificent job with it, and I really, 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 really wanted to to make that my cigar of the year. But at the end of the day, but I couldn't do it because there was one cigar that I just kept going back to and smoking over and over and over again that makes my tongue do dances of joy whenever I close my mouth and allow the smoke to cover it. And that one cigar happens to be none other than the one and only, I'm the only one that selected this cigar, oh, hallelujah. Tennessee Waltz. <laughs> I went with the Tennessee Waltz. And that so I'm the only original one here. The, yes. the amazing thing as, as we've gone through uh, everything Jeez, and actually kind of started going through a bunch of different people around the shop and everything, we've gotten a lot of the votes for, for Norteño, for, for La Colmena. We've gotten, uh, hands down, uh, the biggest, largest response that we've gotten for Favorite Cigar of 2014 has been the Tennessee Waltz. So John Huber, Crown Heads, Mike Condor, Wes, you, you all have done a fabulous job. All of you, we will see you next week as you come make the drive over to get on to We Smoke It, dot, dot, dot. And uh, we look forward to a marvelous, marvelous 2015, where we have many more great guests, thanks to Mark, thanks to Dwight, oh, yeah, Dwight. coming on to We Smoke It, dot, dot, dot. dot, dot. dot.